today we'll be talking about a CTG. What is a CTG? A CTG is a cardiotocogram. Okay, so a cardiotocogram has two components. It is cardio, which is the fetal heart rate, and toco, which is the uterine pressure. When do we do it? It is basically done to monitor the fetal heart rate and the uterine pressure for a woman who is in labor. So here we have a CTG. You can see there are two probes. This is the cardiac probe, which measures the fetal heart rate. And this probe is the toco probe, which is kept at the fundus of the uterus. And this measures the uterine pressure. Now coming to the trace, you can see this is the trace. This top part is the fetal heart rate. So when we talk about the fetal heart rate, the CTG, we have two components. The top part is the, this part is the uh, fetal heart rate, which you can see on the monitor is 150 beats per minute. And the bottom part is the toco, that is the uterine pressure. So you can see these peaks, these are the increase in the uterine pressure whenever there's a contraction now if we look carefully the x-axis is the time and the y-axis is the fetal heart rate so the baseline we have to see first the first thing we see is the baseline and the normal baseline is between 120 to 160 beats per minute and you can see here it is around 140 beats per minute is the baseline the second thing we see is the beat to beat variability so beat to beat variability means that the fetal heart is never static it is never one number you can see it keeps changing every second 148 149 150 so that presents as a wavy line on the cardiograph so it is not a straight line it is a wavy line and the speed to beat variability should be between 5 to 25 beats per minute the third thing we look for is acceleration so acceleration is an increase in the fetal heart rate by 15 beats per minute or more lasting for at least 15 seconds so whenever there is a movement usually there is an acceleration so there should be accelerations in a normal fetal tracing fetal heart rate tracing and the, the, the fourth thing we look for is the presence of decelerations. Decelerations are the opposite of an acceleration and there should not be any decelerations in a normal trace. So you can see here this is a normal 